welcome again live to you cruise tv number 17 welcome if you haven't watched any other cruise tv before welcome if you have been watching the other episodes welcome back there was a little break but i'm here and i am working on giving you a daily positive snippet of information it's it's a nugget it's i i cut it in pieces so that every day eight to ten minutes you learn something new today we are going to talk about this book it's called ikigai it's japanese theory or yeah i don't know what we and I found the appropriate background. Yeah, it's cherry blossom from Japan. Um, it's, it's a kind of theory about working from your purpose and why some people get sick or why people get into a burnout or why they live long and happy. Because it's, it's I think I'm getting more and more positive about this. Everything is connected to everything. So if you lead a happy and fulfilled life, of course, there's no guarantee that you will turn into 100 years old, but your stakes are higher. The statistics prove it. Um, same with eating. Uh, there's a whole chapter about food. See how the color changes is if I bring this book in. Anyway, there's a whole chapter about food. If you eat self-grown organic food and you have it in your own garden, chances are that you will become older. There's all these, other, of course, there's all these other reasons that I, I am convinced, so deep down inside, I am this country girl and I love living in a village where people take care of each other. I don't like big cities. I mean, it's great to visit them, but I don't want to live in a big city. Why? It's anonymous, there's no connection, it's polluted. There's always this, this noise. There's a chic word for that. Um, auditive pollution, audio pollution, I don't know. There's too much noise going on. There are too many visual stimulations. I just don't like it. It's my choice. But I am convinced that a lot of people will have a better life if they live in a village. Yes, that's my opinion. But let's focus on business. Let's focus on your work. And let's focus on Ikigai. Uh, of course, I have a presentation for you. And I will share it with you. One second. Here we go. I have to find it, but here it is. So can you see Ikigai? I think you can. Ikigai, I don't know the Japanese can't read Japanese, but it's pronounced ikigai. It's the Japanese concept that means a reason for being, not for doing, but for being. Who are you on this identity level? One of my mentors at this moment, Jim Fortin, he says, we are not human doings, we are human beings. Activities that allow one to feel ikigai are never forced on an individual. They are often spontaneous and always undertaken willingly, given the individual satisfaction and a sense of meaning to life. Um, the Hungarian uh, author, with a name I didn't remember, but he talks about flow. And I think flow and ikigai are probably the same sort of concept it is if i if i refer it to myself it is working in a way that you feel like something is channeling through you for me it is writing if i write blog post or even a book i come into this sort of flow or ikigai as you call it uh, and i just write and write and feel inspired and do my research and write and then Two months later, if I read my own texts, my own words, I know that I have written them. They are in my document. Um, I'm sometimes I'm surprised, like, did I write that? Oh, that's pretty good. 
and that's for me that's flow so something is coming through you coming for me through my fingers so my brain to my fingers i put it on text and then all of a sudden it is there it's creation but let's entangle the ikigai concept so the first thing in ikigai is flow you love what you do you absolutely love it people don't have to pay you for it you did it as a child already writing yes i had many many pen friends back in the 80s and 90s so i wrote every day the expert you are great at it if you have found something something that you love and you practiced it for hours months years of course you turn into this expert of course there's no other way so it means for me it means that you spend many hours doing that thing so you are great at it they say the expert norm is 10000 hours if you do something for 10000 hours you're the expert yeah and then i think there also has to be some kind of talent i mean i could ice skate for 10000 hours i would improve but I don't have the talent to become an Olympic champion, for example. But I, okay, I will improve. Maybe I will become some kind of an expert. If it, okay, this is business oriented, business focused. If you deliver value, people pay you for this, and people can pay you a massive amount of money if you deliver a lot of value. There's a there is a price for everyone. I mean, some people buy a Rolls Royce, and other people by a Renault Clio or whatever, and everything is okay. It's about you and your clients. What are your clients' problems? What are you solving? How much is your value? And sometimes the value cannot be put into euros. And the fourth aspect is the solution. Your client has a problem, you have a solution. Um, I wrote down the world needs it. Where you read world, you could say your client your ideal client your dream client needs it what if we dive deep in more and find the conjunctions if you combine flow and expert so you love it and you're great at it you are working from your passion and mind you only passion is not enough because if you can buy expert and value you work from your profession you are getting money for the things you're good at and you're getting good money if you have the guts to ask higher prices. So you get paid for it. You, you deliver value. The world needs it. Solution. You work from your vocation. If you work from flow and the world needs it, mind you, the money is out. You work from your mission. So there is something very important that you want to get done. So you could work with funding or you could work in for an NGO or everything, but it's a mission. If you combine everything together, and there's this little piece in the center, if you can combine your passion, your mission, your vocation and profession into one, so you are good at it, you're the expert, you love what you do, the world needs it, and money is flowing in, you work from your purpose or ikigai turning orange again i don't know why ikigai and that is i think one of the most powerful concepts to realize don't waste energy on someone else's company or business don't waste energy on things you don't like because other people are much better at that <clears throat> don't lose energy in getting frustrated about the question why can't i do this but because it's not in your DNA, other people can do it. So please go on this journey, find your Ikigai and let me know what it is. Have a great and wonderful day. This was Cruise TV number 17. Please check all the other episodes if you need them. Bye bye.